Uniquely Creative People and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Thorne. Today I am going, going to be discussing the pros and cons to the snowflake outline. Yeah, the snowflake outline method. Um, for those of you wondering what that is or how to do that, I will leave a link up somewhere in the cards and down below for you guys to check out. I will also leave a link for the um, streams of different outline styled videos on how to do them and the pros and cons of every single one. Now there might be a few outlining vlogs in that one. I can't remember the full details. I think that's the case. Anyways, um, back to the video. So I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons. I have them written down. This way I don't miss anything. If you guys have any other pros and cons to the snowflake outline method, please let me know in the comp in the comments down below. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts of what you guys think of the snowflake outline. So one of the pros is that this method of outline can be adjustable. So it can be like a simple snowflake or it could be a complex snowflake. Um, one of the cons is that it is a lot of work. I am not denying this. It is a lot of work because there is a lot of steps to this outline method. Sorry, I'm just trying to... No, no I'm getting myself out of focus. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm holding my camera with my arm, so... Trying to get it to focus. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of work um, into this outline method. Another pro for this one is it this outline can be detail or outline. Uh can be as detailed as you want it and don't have to be. But this is also a con as well because this outline is one of the more detailed outlines, but like it like I said earlier, it can be adjustable to the point where it's not so a uh, detail outline, but it's basically to use this outline it is detail oriented. Another positive is uh, there, there is a lot of steps to this, so which means if you're a little confused on one of the steps, it is pretty well detailed on the steps, so that is both a pro and a con that there is a lot of steps to this outline. And another pro would be uh, you, instead of having separate outlines like world building outline, character sheets outline, and your plot outline, some of us, some some writers do that, some writers don't. Uh, this outline style lets you get all of those outlines done in one style of outline, the snowflake outline. Now the con is for those that do like to keep their stuff separated for those type of outlines, the world build and the character outline and the plot outline, they are not separate in this type of outline. It is all together in one giant outline style. So other than those pros and cons, those are the only ones I am aware of that I noticed. If you guys know anything else about pros and cons to this outline style, like I said, please leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Click the like button and get notified of all my so get notified of all my posts because I try to post videos once a week. It don't always work, so definitely get no get definitely press the notification button to get notified of all my posts. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and you can also find me on Discord. All the links are down below. Also down below is my other channel, Spooky Dark. That one is a review channel for TV shows, anime, sh movies, and stuff like that. Reactions to movies, shows that are upcoming. 
and soon to be uploaded some games like Minecraft and Roblox and maybe some other games as well and so forth basically entertainment if you like that kind of stuff go check out Spooky Dark all links are down below as well and I'll see you guys next time and remember stay true to yourself and stay unique bye